The most basic and fundamental type of Bible study is simply reading the Bible. And Logos makes that very easy to do, so that's what I want to show you how to do in this tutorial. So take a look at my screen. You'll see that currently my homepage is open. If your homepage is open like mine, go ahead and click the home icon to close it. And then locate on your toolbar the Bible icon. It's the book with the cross on it, so I'm going to click on it and notice our preferred Bible opens. Let this sink in. In a previous tutorial, we went to the library and we prioritized our favorite Bible. It's the first Bible in the list. So that icon will always open your preferred or your favorite Bible. For me, it's the Lexham English Bible. Notice in the upper left of the Bible's panel, there's a reference box. If you want to move through the Bible, all you have to do is type the reference in the box and press the enter key. So let's say we want to go to Exodus chapter 20. So type EX in the box. That's all you need for Exodus. Your two, three, four letter book abbreviations you're accustomed to, they all work here in Lagos. We want to go to chapter 20, so chapter 20. And then dot, you don't even need a colon, one, press the enter key, and we are immediately taken to that place in the Bible. Now here is a power user shortcut. I want you to press the tab key. Press the tab key, and notice it highlights the reference box. So let's say this time we want to go to Luke 5.1. LK is all we need for Luke, 5.1, press the enter key, and we're there. It's that simple. So let's say you now want to turn the pages in the Bible. Several ways to do this, but I want you to press the space bar. Just press the space bar on your keyboard and you'll notice that you are paging down, paging down. The space bar takes you to the next page. Let's say you want to go back to the previous page. Hold down the shift key as you press the space bar. So shift space bar will take you back to the previous page. Now, if you're like I am and you are aging just a little bit and your eyes are going, you may want a large print Bible. Easy to do with Logos. I want you to go to the panel menu in the upper right. Remember, everything in Logos opens in a panel. And the three dots in the upper right is the menu, so we call it the panel menu. Click on that, and you'll notice at the top we have a sliding bar. And so if you move that bar to the right, the text size increases, go back to the left, and it will decrease. It's that simple. Okay, so you're reading in your favorite Bible, but let's say you want to read another Bible. Notice on the Bible's toolbar, the last icon, slanted parallel lines. Click on it. And notice all of your Bibles that match the reference that you're currently in. So currently we're in Luke 5.1. So here are all of your Bibles that have a Luke 5.1. In other words, your Hebrew Old Testament Bibles would not be listed here. And take note, they are listed in the order that you prioritize them in the library. So I want the New American Standard, so I'm going to click on it. And notice that my preferred Bible is now replaced with the New American Standard. It doesn't change my preferred Bible, it just opens it in its place. So click on that icon again and go back to your preferred. So that icon is a great way to get to additional resources. So all you have to do, as you've seen, is click the Bible icon. It opens up your Bible and you can easily read through the Bible. Now let's say that you want a systematic reading plan for your Bible. Well, Logos is here to help. I want you to click on the panel menu again of your Bible. Come on down and select Start Reading Plan. And notice a reading plan panel opens. And there are a lot of drop-down lists you can go through and customize your start time, your ending time, how much of the Bible that you want to read, and so on. I will leave all of that with you. And you can even change the name of this plan, but I'm going to leave it set to read the LEB in one year. We're just letting it stay with its default settings, which will take us through in a systematic way the Bible in one year. So go ahead and click on start, and that will generate the reading plan. 
Notice in the upper right that we have three different ways to view this. Overview, calendar, and list. Mine is currently in the list view. So let's say I'm starting my systematic reading of the Bible today. So I'm going to click on today's reading, Genesis 1 through 3. Notice when the Bible jumps there, there is a marker saying start reading. And so I have today's reading. I'm going to press the space bar until I get to the end of chapter 3. And you will see the marker that says Mark Done. So I'm going to click Mark Done. And so I have finished with today's reading. And now I'm loaded up for tomorrow. Notice in the plan, today has been checked off. So pretty cool. But now here is the icing on the cake. I want you to click your home icon. Click the home icon and notice what has been added to your dashboard. A dashboard card for your reading plan. You don't even have to keep up with things. All you have to do is read today's passage and then Mark Dunn, Logos will update the reading plan for you. Then tomorrow when you open up your software, go to the dashboard and click that card right there and you will be taken to today's reading. So you can open up the Bible, read it through on your own, or you can have Logos provide a systematic reading plan for you complete with a dashboard card.